Hello and welcome to this week's special Palm Sunday CCB Kids Online. Today is called Palm Sunday and this is the day in the church when we remember when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey with the streets lined with people or waving and cheering to greet him. I'm going to hand over to our climbers and explorers who are going to tell the story. Jesus and his friends were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover festival, which was very special to the Jewish people. He knew that this was where God wanted him to be, to complete his plan for all the people of the world. As they got close to the village of Bethany, Jesus stopped and said to two of his disciples, Go into the village. As you enter it, you find a donkey that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it back to me. If anyone asks what you're doing, tell them that the Lord needs it. And that's exactly what happened next. When the people who owned the donkey saw what they were doing, they shouted out. Hey, what are you doing? The disciples looked at each other, hoped for the best, and said as confidently as they could, The Lord needs it. That's okay then, you can take it. When the two friends returned with the donkey, they put their cloaks on the donkey's back and Jesus climbed on. He gently nudged its sides and trotted off towards Jerusalem with his friends following closely behind. As they walked along, the crowds at the side of the road who were there for the festival threw their cloaks on the ground for the donkey to walk on. Others cut palm branches from the trees and waved them about. Now that was a pretty weird thing to do, wasn't it? But actually, this is what Jewish people did when someone important came to town. The people were so excited when they saw Jesus coming that they couldn't stop shouting out. Praise God, praise God, blessed is the King. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the, is the name, blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Blessed is the king. Hosanna, blessed is the king. Hosanna, blessed is the king. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God.
there were hundreds, maybe thousands, clapping and dancing and trotting their way along the road and through the city gates. Everyone was happy. Well, almost everyone. Some of the religious leaders didn't like Jesus. They were jealous because the ordinary people loved him so much. And when they saw the parade, they were cross. But Jesus just laughed. Tell them to be quiet. Impossible. Just look at the crowd. Can't you see there's so much happiness here that even if I could make the people quiet, the stones in the street would jump and shout for joy. Palm Sunday, we retell the story of how people just like us lined the streets and joyfully shouted Hosanna. Today, we are going to use the word Hosanna for our prayers. H is for hope. Loving God, give us joy in our hearts as we shout Hosanna, welcoming Jesus our King, celebrating all that we hope for as the Easter story unfolds. As we start this new week and look forward to celebrations of Easter Sunday, help us to remember the journey Jesus made for us. 
As we think of Good Friday, help us to know that you are with us when celebration turns to sadness. We thank you for the amazing love you have for us. Give us the faith we need to keep following you in our lives. Amen. O is for our family. Loving God, we want to say thank you for our families, for our parents and carers who do so much for us. We pray for our extended family and those we have not been able to meet with. Thank you for their love and care and support and the knowledge that even when we cannot meet, they are always there for us and enjoy listening to our news. Help us to remember that you love and care for us too, and you are always listening and want us to talk to you. Amen. S is for school. Loving God, we want to thank you for our schools, for our teachers who make learning new things interesting and exciting. Our classroom helpers who help us and support us when we are struggling or need that reassurance or confidence. Thank you for the dinner ladies who prepare our meals, for caretakers who keep our schools clean and safe, for our friends as we share and enjoy all the good things each new school day brings. Amen. A is for the area we live in. Loving God, we thank you for our churches in Beckenham as they begin to meet in person. We pray that they will be able to restart many of their outreach projects. We think of our toddler group, the community lunch, our beavers, cubs and scouts. We pray for the people that use them who have missed their help and support. We pray for our street pastors who take your message and love onto the streets of Beckenham. Help us to be your eyes to see where help is needed, your ears to listen to others, and your voice to share the good news in our community. Amen. N is for our NHS. Loving God, we bring you all those working in the NHS, our doctors and nurses, the people working around it, helping to keep things working, maintenance staff, receptionists, those helping to care for the elderly, those who volunteer to help at the vaccine centres, volunteers who have provided meals and provisions. We remember those keeping our hospitals and medical centres clean and safe and for those providing counselling and support to all who need it. Amen. N is for the news. We bring to you each of the stories that we have heard in the news this week. We pray for the leaders of our country and those who are advising them. We pray for the vaccine rollout as it continues here and abroad, that it will be successful and enable people to travel again. We pray for our royal family during this time of hurt and recovery from illness. We think of the family of Nazeen Ratcliffe, as they anxiously wait to hear if she will be allowed to come home. And we remember the family of Sarah Everard as they prepare for her funeral. May these two families know your peace and be surrounded by your love. We pray for the work of our police force as they work to protect us and keep us safe. May they also be able to carry out their duties safely. Amen. A is for altogether. As we celebrate Palm Sunday, help us to remember that day when all the adults and children waved palm branches and cheered as Jesus entered Jerusalem as King. We know that Jesus rose from the dead and is alive. Help us to remember that he is our wonderful King and that we can praise him every day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. 